Hello my darlings and welcome to my spell oil series. Today I'm going to share my recipe for black cat oil. This spell oil is used to change your luck, bring luck in gambling, and break curses and hexes. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I share recipes for 12 very popular spell oils. If you're interested in more oil recipes, please check out those other videos. I'll link to them below. You can also watch a video in which I create a book of shadows page for each of the spell oils in the series. And if you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I put this printable label sheet on my Patreon as well. This sheet includes a label for each of the 12 oils in the series. You can print it on label paper or print it on regular paper and glue tape or decoupage it onto your master bottle. If you'd like to download a PDF of the label sheet, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. Spell oils are also called conjure oils, and they're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and root work. Their uses are as varied as the people who make them. Black cat oil is used to change your luck, bring luck in gambling, or use the spell oil to remove harm and negative influence, break curses or hexes, and keep harmful people away from your home, office, or person. Before I talk about each ingredient and what it adds to the oil, I'd like to say that this is my personal black cat oil blend. You can find many recipes for this oil in books and online. The ingredients will always differ slightly. When making your own black cat oil, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand and that provide the effects that you want in your oil. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. There's no need to buy expensive herbs or spices unless you want to. You can use any bottle you have on hand for spell oil. I chose this tall, thin bottle, but one with a wide opening can be a bit easier to add herbs into. This is called the master bottle. All of the ingredients are mixed into this bottle. I usually start with the dry ingredients, then add essential oils, and finally add the carrier oil. You can do this the opposite way if you prefer to start with the main oil. The first ingredient is grains of paradise. Grains of paradise is indigenous to the west coast of Africa. It's a relative of both ginger and cardamom. And that's what gives it its peppery floral flavor. Grains of paradise can be used for blessing and removal of curses and hexes and to protect your home. The next ingredient is myrrh. Myrrh is not an herb, but a resin, and appears in a number of religious and spiritual contexts. Myrrh, like frankincense and sandalwood, is associated with purification and cleansing. In some magical traditions, myrrh is incorporated into workings to break hexes and curses, or for protection against magical and psychic attacks. The third ingredient is sage. Sage is a powerful magical herb which has been used for hundreds of years as a cleansing and purifying herb. Its magical energies make it a great choice for protection spells and also powerful when used in money and abundance spells. The next ingredient is a lodestone. A lodestone is a natural magnet. It's a piece of the mineral magnesite that's been magnetized. In many traditions of hoodoo and folk magic, a lodestone is used to attract money. Feeding the lodestone with bits of iron shavings will draw prosperity to you. I'm adding magnetized iron filings to the bottle. You can also simply place a lodestone on top of your oil bottle if you do not want to put a stone inside of the liquid. 
Next, I'm adding bay leaves. Bay leaf is an herb that's oftentimes found in kitchen spice cabinets. Bay leaves are protective of the home and person. They're said to clear a space of harmful energy. Bay leaves are often associated with wish magic and money drawing magic, making them a perfect addition to an oil for bringing good luck when gambling. I've added my dry ingredients to the master bottle so far, and now is the time I add my essential oils. You can always substitute essential oil for dried herbs or vice versa. Use whatever you have on hand. I decided to add sage essential oil to add a boost of earthy scent and boost the sage leaves I put in the bottle. And I added some additional myrrh magic with some essential oil as well. With all of the dry ingredients and essential oils in the master bottle, it's time to fill the rest of the master bottle with the carrier oil. The carrier oil I'm using is olive oil. However, you could use castor oil, which is often used in blends that deal with protection and absorbing negativity. Coconut oil is also used for protection. However, you can use any carrier oil that you have on hand. Two of my other favorites are sweet almond oil and grapeseed oil. Once the master bottle is full, allow the herbs to steep inside for three or four weeks, shaking occasionally to mix them. Once the oil has steeped sufficiently, you can strain the herbs out of the oil using a cheesecloth line strainer, if that is your preference. I like to leave my herbs in the oil Keep the bottle tightly closed and store it in a cool place. This way it can last from a year up to 18 months. There are a number of ways that you can use black cat oil. Ritual oils can be used to anoint candles, sigils, petition papers, crystals, mojo bags, poppets, and other ritual objects. Depending on the nature of your spell work and the ingredients of the oil, they can also be used to anoint the body and personal belongings. However, many of the ingredients in this oil, such as grains of paradise and iron filings, may not be appropriate to apply to your skin. Never eat or drink a spell oil. If you decide to make black cat oil, I hope this video has given you some ideas for ingredients and that you manifest the results that you desire.